Disney Speedstorm is available now on both mobile and PC with Google Play games. Experience more ways to play and sync your in-game progress across your PC and mobile. All right, so we are back. Wade's World people, what's going on? How you living? How you feeling? I have not been here for a while. I apologize. But we're back, and I'm going to try to be more consistent. I say that every time. But we are back because I have missed a lot in the time I was away, including the continuous bizarre trajectory that one lunchly company is on. That's right. KSI, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast. I know sometimes you guys tell me I'm dragging it, but this is insane. Keep watching how this whole thing unfolds. Now, what is going on with Lunchly? Well, people are starting to notice that they got a little more than they bargained for when they bought the product. No, I don't mean the cheese is drippy, bruh. No, I don't mean that it has more protein and electrolytes than Lunchable. I mean that Lunchly is now being called moldy for a reason. Apparently, people have been getting a side of mold, a side of blue cheese in their packets, if you know what I mean. And this is first kind of reported and continuing to being somewhat reported, I guess, by Rosanna Pancino, which is a massive YouTuber. I've never actually seen her channel, but she's been covering this and actually, I guess, went and bought a Lunchly herself to see if it was true. The claims of mold, what is happening? Because we started this whole thing asking if Lunchly was a good alternative to Lunchables. And while that answer hasn't really been clear, now we're asking, is it even good to eat? Or is all of this attention, all these YouTubers, all these people online, just going after Logan, KSI, and Mr. Beast as a witch hunt? I have some thoughts. So, let's take a look. For those of you who don't know, Lunchly is a super original product that has never been seen before. Some of the most brilliant minds of YouTube came together. Look at that picture of Mr. Beast. That is crazy. Oh, yeah. She used all the worst pictures of everybody. Clearly not a fan of Logan, Mr. Beast, and KSI is, is one row here. None of them are foodies, nor do they give a shit. Wait, is her channel like a foodie channel? I need to know now that I'm on her channel. What is the basis the of this that channel? Yeah, she's, she does a lot of different food stuff, it looks like. Does that make sense? Okay. I think I would do the first. <laughs> These are molded. Okay, so these ones are supposed to be good until December, and we just got them from the store. This is used by December 8th. You can see the mold right here. That is wild. December 8th, 2024. And today's date is October 16th. So these are supposed to be good for like another two months. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. Especially like kids that are so young, they may not know what mold looks like. So they might just eat it. I saw a picture circulating about mold, but I didn't know if it was fake or- Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not, I mean, <laughs> that's mold. That's insane. You know, I just had heard about it, but this is real, you guys. I need mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lake? Oh my god. Yeah, it's actually disgusting. Epic ingredients. This is mold in the cheese mm. and this is really unhealthy. You should not eat molds. I don't know if this is an issue in the recipe development or packaging. I think it's a packaging. I was going to say it has to be a packaging issue, you would think. Issue. The sealant here feels really cheap, like whatever is holding this on the top. It is not vacuum tight. I'm going to make these pizzas anyways. Yeah. So here's the big problem, right? Okay, first off, do I think that this lady faked this for views? No, I don't. She does have an explanation here. Number one, I did not fake this video. We bought this lunchly from the store months before its expiration date and put it in our own fridge in 20 minutes. Looking online there, dozens of other people reporting moldy lunchlies as well. How widespread is this? Number two, as my studio is finalized, I'm going to be filming many more videos like this. Number three, I have grown sick of the make money in any cost mindset for a lot of YouTubers. I'm going to continue speaking up against these topics because people are starting to get hurt physically and mentally. Now dangerous food is being sold to fans. And that's so She's right. It wasn't just her that opened up and we see now you know we'll, we'll go back to the video in a second but we see some of the mold here on the cheese obviously this is an issue because mold is terrible in your food and can cause various different diseases obviously not supposed to happen it can cause a variety of different health issues including allergic reactions gastrointestinal issues liver damage all of these things are probably going to happen if you eat a lot more mold than very small bits of it but regardless you shouldn't be eating and like Rosanna said, this is not 